is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Okay, I do have the cards in front of me to save time, so we're going to start with your reading. Okay. Also, if you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below before I forget. The overall energy towards that I see for you around your finances is the Eight of Swords here. Okay. Um, this is telling me that there's a lot of anxiety around your money right now. Okay. Either you're not being able, I think you can't, you're not being able to see the financial opportunity right now and you may feel like things are closing on uh, into you right now. Okay. Uh, this is also anxiety about the state of your bank account. Okay. It could also be that or uh, how you can alter, you know, your bank account. Um, it's almost like I'm getting that you need, it's about the way you're perceiving the reality of your situation. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. If you're trying to make more cash, understand that you have all the tools that you need to do so, okay? At least you have more than you think you do, okay? But this is all about your perception. You're very, you feel very stuck, tied, and bound right now. But remember, the Eight of Swords is all about your thoughts. This is also overanalyzing and overthinking your situation, okay? Things are not as bad as you think they are, okay? You're creating thoughts and scenarios in your head that don't really exist. In short, let me tell you, you are coming in your own way, okay? This is you coming in your own way. You can do so much more, but this is your thoughts that's making the situation worse. Okay? There are so many ways you can better your situation right now. The only thing you need to do is remove the blindfold. Okay? It's almost like I'm getting that you're sitting here, standing here, and you're saying, I can't do anything about this. Whereas you can, and you're the only one who can. Okay? So yeah, just get a little more creative and get out of your head. Things should be okay. In the past situation, we have the star. So this is telling me that in the past, I think you were reaching your financial goals. You were very inspired. You had a lot of faith and a lot of uh, hope that your situation was working out. If it wasn't also, you were still keeping up with that inspiration. Okay, You had that faith and positivity, uh, which probably helped you to reach your financial goals. Okay, You probably were even putting a lot of work towards your financial future. Okay, and at the same time, the good thing about this is I think that you were being very grateful okay, to the universe for whatever you already had. Law of attraction, right? Being grateful. This is what you were practicing, okay? At the same time, you were feeling, feeling very hopeful and uh, very positive about your situation that even if things were not going well, it is still going to be okay. And that inspiration probably helped you along the path, okay? So this is a good card here. Not really to do with the financial part, but this is just a state of mind that you had, which probably helped you reach a lot of financial goals in the past. Hmm. In the current situation, we have the Empress here, okay? So this is telling me that uh, right now, at this stage, I think there is a lack of growth and expansion wherever you are at, okay? It could be because you're feeling insecure about your finances despite being stable. That's the issue here with the Empress upright or in the Empress reverse. You're stable both ways. But when it's in the reverse, it's telling me that you're feeling that lack here, okay? You're feeling insecure about it, about your money, although you are very stable, okay? This is generally a card. Uh, it's a good card to have with finances, right? But uh, even in the res uh, reverse position, right, it still signals a very comfortable amount of financial stability, which is telling me you still have a lot of financial stability, okay? It's only that suggesting that despite you having enough, you're still feeling unstable, okay? So yeah, that feeling of lack mindset is still going around. Uh, this can also sometimes come up by if you are growing up or you've grown up in poverty or, you know, it's just the nature of being self-employed, okay? But uh, you probably need to do a little bit of internal work to understand why this is, why this kind of feeling you're having, okay? And uh, what you can do to change it. Regardless, just continue to be responsible with your finances and I think you'll be fine, all right? But it's, this is all about the mindset, okay? Just be more creative. This and this. I feel it's all about thinking outside the box, okay? These two cards are telling me. Here you're trapped in your head. This is exactly what's influencing this kind of mindset, okay? Because this is your overall energy and this is the current situation. That's why you're feeling it. See, this is exactly what it's explaining. You are in your head. Here you are financially stable, okay? It's your mindset. It's your lack of self-confidence which is making you believe that you're not stable. But actually you are. You can do so much with your finances, right? But it's your belief system which is making you feel that you're feeling restricted, lack of options, etc., Again, this is a lot of over-analyzing, overthinking, could be having a lot of expectations, etc. Okay, so cut that out. 
in the near future we have the night of wands here which is telling me that there is going to be a sudden flow of money okay you could be using this money uh, for traveling if you are a traveler because the knight of wands is someone who doesn't like to be tied down to okay this is someone who's all, always on the go okay a lot of energy uh, a lot of uh, passion for their work okay but at the same time this is someone who likes to travel so yeah you could be wanting to expand your horizons in the near future okay but yeah at the same time i also see this is this can be with this or and or i mean the money it's like a large amount coming in towards you okay it is a very ideal time for you to spend on uh, spend the money on a trip and if you are right travel is going to be a good way to use this influx of cash okay because you may probably want to travel for business or whatever it is right you may not see the return on investment initially but you will learn and it will be better for you you will see the return later in the in the outcome or in the near future okay but yeah uh, if you do this traveling if you use this money that's going to come in for traveling you're going to learn and you're going to broaden your horizons okay so if you're wanting to travel in the near future with this money that's coming in if the money is not coming in you're definitely using your money which you have to travel if you do travel it is not going to be a waste of money okay it depends now whether you're uh, yes if it's mindless spend spending then that is a waste of your good fortune okay so yeah for sure keep that in mind don't tell me that you're just going to going out taking holidays because you have so much money coming no that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about expanding your horizons okay broadening your hor horizons etc okay so yeah if you're traveling at this time in the near future it's not a waste of money okay just don't give in to mindless spending okay use your money instead to expand your mind and take up new adventures again to do with investments okay so investments in these type of projects will benefit you in the future okay so this could be traveling towards anything but business goals for sure okay this is not a pleasure or leisure trip okay how you see yourself right now this is the ace of cups in reverse here so right now i feel that right uh, how you see yourself is in a very you'll be frustrated right now okay there's a lot of sadness around your finances right now okay this could be some disappointing news that you've got and okay this is just you probably just being very sad uh, or upset about it either there is some news that you have gotten that you don't want to hear when it comes to your finances or if you have applied for a loan or something you know um there may be some disappointment that is heading your way or that has already come which is making you so disappointed okay but um just try ask for assistance or help from family or friends okay maybe that also isn't working but you can try if none of these situations are applying to you then this is just you you are dealing with some feelings of frustration okay when it comes to your financial situation i think you should let yourself feel but don't be consumed by these um, emotions okay ace of cups see again this is all rooting down to only one thing the ace of cups in reverse because you're feeling that lack of um, confidence okay you're feeling incapable or you're feeling unstable or you're just feeling insecure okay and again it's all coming down to the same thing eight of swords this is your root issue if you actually go to ask me this is why this is the reason why you're feeling like this this is the reason why you're feeling currently like this and this is why you see yourself right now so disappointed actually it's all in your head i'm getting things are not as bad as you think they are okay what's in your environment we have the temperance in reverse you see this is exactly what the issue is this is you probably failing to uh, reach that balance okay this is a failure to balance your you're not being able to balance your long term needs with your short term happiness you're probably someone who always needs to buy yourself the next nice luxury or you're probably so careful that you don't even reward your efforts okay with anything small or you don't try to you know like a motivation kind of thing don't try to get yourself something even if you have the money it could be either or okay regardless both these attitudes are going to need some adjustment okay because they are they're both very um you cannot proceed with any of these two attitudes for a very long term okay if i'm getting if you are someone like this who needs to buy themselves uh, the next best thing that comes in town okay then you are someone who's putting in instant gratification over your comfort zone or vice versa okay this is what you're doing you need to still consider your financial goals all right you need to make sure that you are financially okay and if you are okay you need to know where and how much you need to invest you can't just go out and keep buying things just because it's more like you feel like it right 
consider your finance consider your financial goals and make sure you also put your own well-being in the picture it has to be a balance okay that's why the temperance is in reverse right when it's in the upright this is a balance right you're balancing both the things things are equal if you're trying to put in your well-being at the same time you're taking care of your financial goals also here you're doing one thing is going imbalanced okay which is balance which is actually both are imbalanced so um your future well-being and your present well-being okay they need to be that there needs to be like a comfortable middle ground okay you need to find something in between balance is what i say okay don't overdo one thing okay because anything that you overdo is going to lead to a disaster anything uh what what's that saying um more of anything is bad right i think that's something like that so less is more in short okay in your hopes and fears or your emotions okay so we have here with the 10 of wands in reverse you know either you're i mean this is what you're doing you're wanting a relief from this financial burdens okay maybe you're going through a lot of financial burdens okay but again honestly right now i'm feeling more like this is a self inflicted burden this doesn't look like your situation doesn't look like that to me right now this is self inflicted okay you're feeling the burden because this is all self inflicted it's you who's coming into your own way like i said before okay you need to come to your senses you need like this splash of cold water and see things for what they are you're not being able to accept the no not really accept the reality but you're not being able to see things clearly okay because you have that blindfold around you and you're choosing to stay there guys you're choosing to stay there you probably i mean this is in your emotions right you want to come out of this economic trouble okay and you want to take steps to resolve the core issue that are undermining your finances okay and tens can also signify that you're finally going to be able to you're finally wanting to take control of the situation okay as a result your financial your financial situation is going to improve okay this could also be that you have still not worked to understand what is upsetting your financial state okay and probably you're descending into a deeper economic trouble okay take it two ways because the ten of wands in reverse you can see it two ways okay either things are getting better or you're not being able to see exactly what's going wrong and you're slipping into a more uh, deeper uh, financial problem um just imagine and ask yourself how well you are in control of your finances okay to determine the meaning of what this is but uh, more likely if not if you cannot i mean just ask yourself if you cannot answer what steps you have to take to take command of your finances right it is most likely that you're not acting decisively okay you're not acting decisively you're not being able to make a decision and all this is again i can't stress enough with the overall energy i can literally understand because the empress says it all in the reverse okay that you already have what it takes you're the one who's choosing to stay in that state of lack okay that lack mindset is which is the issue yeah see uh the likely outcome if things keep going this way we have the queen of swords in reverse as your likely outcome okay so i'm getting this is financial confusion or this is just failure to make logical financial decisions maybe you're someone who do, who doesn't like to open up if you're someone who likes to keep their financial situation a secret or maybe you just try to handle things on your own maybe you're someone who doesn't like professional advice or you think you know it all whatever okay but if you've been communicating about your finances very very poorly you're probably going to be dealing with the consequences very soon because this is the outcome this is lack of clarity about your own financial situation okay which is also probably the biggest culprit here if you lent money to a friend or a family member who has failed to pay you back you know or you've probably given or spent more than you could actually afford which is there in your environment you'll just need to make sure that you're clear about your own boundaries okay and limits whether it is boundary or limits are with a friend family member anyone okay or if this is something where you need to limit yourself and know where your boundaries are and how much you can afford how much you can be able to give in order to help someone out or how much you can be able to spend on your own self you need to set your boundaries too it's going to be crazy okay because this is you unclear about your financial goals you're not even clear about how much you have in your bank account probably or you just feel you know everything but actually you don't okay so otherwise improve on your finances uh improve on your clarity about your finances okay you still need to be very very clear you probably may even think that everything's okay but probably it's not or you choose not to solve the issues bad communication skills okay 
to take care of that. So that's what I have for you in short. Uh, this is for Taurus and um, I hope this reading resonates with you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.